What is uh, happening, world? My name is Jeff Redson. No one will welcome me to Shed Talk. What a morning it has been. Been up since the fucking crack of dawn. It's my day off. Friday. Ran up to Wyoming and back already to put in some plays. Amped. Amped. Thank you, Doggo, for that boom bat, as always. But, holy smokes, uh, amped for this Kura Race 4 at, what, like 11.40 my time, so that's, what, uh, 1.40 East Coast time. You're going to have Hampshire, the Six Horse, for Raya Moore and Aiden O'Brien, Lady Eli's Galileo, brother, uh, half brother to um, him's endeavor. So we'll see how that horse runs five to one. We'll see what it gets bet down to. So amp for that. But we're coming to you today for closing day at Churchill Downs. That awesome, awesome. Sorry, I'm super distracted because I am also watching TVG <laughs> on the porch filming this. So. Uh, amped for the Stephen Foster uh, closing day card. The pick six is what I am all about today. Uh, we got, what, three singles and three spreads. And in those spreads, I do like quite a few good horses, a couple that we'll talk about today. Uh, the 20 cent increment starts in race seven. So this is going to be a $30 ticket, which... I love playing me some skinny pick sixes and hopefully smashing uh, a good couple prices on there. I got to get this going before it gets too hot and breaks 100 before I got to do all of my lawn care crap, as you could probably hear my neighbors doing there. So I'm going to go a little quick through the singles. Race 7, Ottoman Fleet, even money favorite. Won the Arlington last time out. Uh, second back in the Fort Marcy, had a bad start, couldn't really make up ground, did, but Masterpiece stole that thing, um, had what, a three furlong maintenance work on the 22nd, so, can't turn down even money, good dolphin, sure, let's start it off right, don't want to play... There's a couple horses I do like in there that I'm going to play a different pick six with. So check that out for Twitter. Uh, hit me up if you need it. It's going to be a different different uh, singles throughout. In the eighth race, you can't say no. The Skelly, um, six to five. What? Had two, two four furlong maintenance work since the last start. Been on her since last April, well, I guess two Aprils ago. Uh, Bull Bro won the Ohio Derby last Saturday. Love her in the spot, six to five. Hopefully we get four to five, but I'm seeing like probably three to five. The first spread race is that ninth race. Love First World War. The seven horse, four to one morning line. Only bad start. Was in the Transylvania on soft turf. So we'll see how that horse rolls. And loved him last time out at Ped National. Frankie up, Frankie up again. Should love this firm turf. The other horse I like is the five horse. The Gate Road, seven to two. The last two spots it's been in, the Louisiana Derby and the American Turf on the Derby undercard were some tough-ass spots. They were loaded spots, so almost done with the first gallon of the day. Oh, man. Since I've stopped drinking, I've had to uh, up my water intake to... Feel like I'm drinking something. So, first gallon almost done by 7 o'clock. <laughs> we'll see if I can get the second gallon down before noon. As they're showing Stephen Foster 
uh, field they're talking about it this morning. I'm not a big fan of Skippy Longstocking. We'll see. Jose's up. He's been riding hot. First mission, I just love this horse um, in the 11th race. The two, six to five. Can't beat it. Um, spun his wheels in the Pegasus. But the last two um, for this year have been great. Um, I think this is going to be one of Cox's big horses this this uh, summer and fall. As they're showing him winning the slop in the Alcibiade. No, Ali, Ali Sheba. Ali Sheba. Yeah, Ali Sheba on... Uh, Oaks Day, I believe it was. Um, needed him in the Clark last year, so he does run pretty well at Churchill. Um, so we'll see what he does. But back to the ninth race. Oh, no Ooh, got that good Coke. Dang, that's right. Um. In the American turf for a gate road, the Ammerman, uh, Motion and Ammerman, uh, I think it was like 45, 47 to 1, because that horse made the derby day for us. Um, that horse killed it on that turf. They, that rain softened it up, but as we've seen in the last couple of weeks, it has just been a freaking firm, firm turf that they're running on. So you should like this. But in the 10th race is another spread race. Um, but I absolutely love, yes, I'm a sucker for my home California speed. California shippers. I love that one horse, Anarchus. Six to one on the morning line. Love him in this spot. My only concern is what uh Freysu, uh not giving him the proper ride so hopefully hopefully uh Freysu rides him correctly because uh, i've been high on this horse since last year and he has collected some good good tickets he ran what last year in i think it was the true north at belmont and i think it was the true north came second lost to the big favorite um, he should be tough in this spot. Uh, six to one. Really love that horse. Uh, again, first mission, another single in the Clark, or not in the Clark, in the Stephen Foster. So those are three singles. And the last, I love prices. Uh, I like three prices in particular the four, the seven, and the 11. But we also threw the five and the eight in there. The four is uh, D'Amato to DeVoe transfer. Uh, ran last time out in the Sweet Life. I really like how DeVoe gets some horses ready for the turf. This horse looks like, and the breeding suggests it should like this Churchill bre uh, turf. Uh, DeVoe's first time percentages are awesome. That seven horse, holy hell, was wide throughout in the last. Didn't really like the ride. I believe it was Saez that was on it, if I can remember right. But Flo was on it this time, so I think he'll stick to the rail. He'll cut over, get a good inside trip. And hopefully find a hole for us. And then the 11 horse. Love the last race, but got beat by the favorite. Asmussen, I think it's, uh, what's his name? Frankie up. Just those here. Let me pull those up real quick. Because those are some great prices we're getting. But on that eight horse, uh, has been a B since he's come over. Absolutely. Will take, I believe it's seven to two on this horse. Um, he will go off as the favorite. Let 
Yeah, the four. Voodoo magic. 12 to 1 morning line. Give it to me. Uh, the seven is Kodiak Wintergreen with flow up. Another 12 to 1 morning line. And the 11 is just better. 12 to 1 morning line again. Frankie. But big thing is I love this Justify over Galileo. Uh, Coolmore has been exposing this for the world to see. So hopefully this Whisper Hill farm um, baby will run well. So those are the three three long shots we like in that. Pipsy, the eight horse, seven to two, like I said, has been a beast since coming over. Pratt up for Walden. They have some killer numbers together. <coughs> but also love me this five pull side with Slim. Man, that pen oaks that she ran was killer. He gaff up. He's been killing me this meet. Still don't know how he is winning the uh Rider title right now by what I think it's like four wins or something like that. But he's been killing me on so many damn good horses that he should have won on. But um, this Churchill turf, I think these Churchill horses, when they come over, <clears throat> love that firm turf. Churchill liked the firm turf when he came over here to run in the Breeders' Cup. Just was in deep waters when he ran over here. But like I said, it's our three singles on this race, or in this ticket. We have the two with the four, with the seven, five, eight, six, four, one, with the six, five, four, seven, one, with the two, with the four, five, seven, eight, eleven, which again, for that 20 cent. Derby City pick six, it will be a $30 ticket. So hopefully we will be cashing this ticket and many more this weekend. Look out for the pick fours and pick fives. Uh, like I sent out this morning, love, love the Belmont card today. Played quite a few fours, fives, and six, a couple grand slams. Love the Gulfstream card. Everybody usually hates on that beautiful all weather, but uh, as a breeding freak, I love it because you can find some good prices on there. So hopefully, we cash some good tickets on that today. But again, let's kick some ass, cash some tickets, give us a follow, give us a like, retweet the videos. Again, my name is Jeff Redston, but you can find me on Twitter under Moneyline Bet. Give Shed Talk a follow. They always throw out some good stuff. So, holler if you need anything. Let's kick some ass, cash some tickets. Peace.